Welcome to my over 50s beginners total body workout. My name is Anthony and welcome to 4x4 circuits. Welcome to the workout. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Now with this workout, you can do this with or without weights. If you don't have access to a set of weights, fill up two water bottles that are identical and that will be absolutely fine. With that said, let's begin this workout with a warm up, with a march in three, two, one, let's go. Let's bring those knees up, get those arms pumping, get the blood flowing, get us nice and loose and warm, head up, face and forwards, awesome stuff. So how today's workout? It's going to work. We've got seven exercises to four rounds. I'm going to spend 30 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 15 seconds break. In that break, I will demonstrate the next exercise. And at the end of the workout, we'll do a full body cool down stretch standing up. Okay, let's increase this pace of the march in three, two, one. Let's increase the pace just like that, bringing those knees up. If you want to take it to a slight small jog, you are more than welcome to get those arms pumping, landing with the soft knees. Fantastic stuff. Okay, in five seconds time, we're gonna go to step jacks in five, four, three, two, one, step it out. Raise those arms out to the side. If you did wanna make it harder, but keep it low impact still, take the arms above the head and add in a little clap. Here we go. Fantastic, keep that going. Or if you like, you're more welcome to go into the full jumping jack, just like this. Arms above the head, landing with the soft knees, perfect. Okay, in five seconds time, we're gonna take it back to a march, and we're gonna throw some little punches out towards me in five, four, three, two, one. Back to a march, throw those punches out towards me. Excellent stuff, when you throw the punches out, Try not to overextend the elbow. Keep it on a nice soft lock. There we go, good. Take it down to the ground, looking good. Fantastic stuff, well done. Chuck it out to the sides, here we go. Awesome job. Okay, we're gonna go up above. If you can't do up above, just go out in front, that's absolutely fine. Good stuff, okay, we're gonna go through it one more time. Punches out towards me. Nicely done, good. Down to the ground we go. Fantastic, looking great out there. Chuck him out to the sides. Lovely job. Finish off at the top. Hold it there, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect stuff. Okay, feet just over shoulder width apart. Toes facing forward. Bring the arms up to chest height. Slowly rotate the body side to side. One continuous movement face towards where you're rotating. Good stuff, well done. Okay, let's extend the arms through. Keep these arms at chest height, just like that. Lovely job, we're activating those oblique muscles. Good stuff, okay, let's reach up to the ceiling. Here we go. Fantastic, coming back to the middle in five. There's four and three. There's two and one, perfect. Now we're gonna bring the feet in, shoulder width apart, just like that. Toes facing forward. I'm gonna demonstrate side on. We're gonna sit back into a squat. Weight on the heels like you're sitting in the chair. Push up through the legs, keep a nice strong core. Now if you can't go down all the way, try it halfway. If you can't do that, try a quarter way, it's absolutely fine. Take your time. Make sure we're sticking the bum out as we go back. The hips go back as well. And push up through the legs. Let's do two more together. Lovely job. Okay, one last one. Excellent, fantastic. And just shake the legs out a little bit. Good, standing nice and tall. Gonna take the right leg back and we're gonna go into a lunge position. Keep that body upright, head up facing forwards. Push off the front leg, come up and change over. Now again, if you can't go down all the way, that's absolutely fine, don't worry. Try halfway, if not quarter. Just focus on the balance. Take your time stepping back. Try and keep the shoulders back, chest out. Head up, facing forwards. Good job, looking good. 
Okay, we're gonna do one more on each leg. Fantastic. One last one, here we go. Perfect stuff, good job. We have the arms in the middle now. You can slowly take them out to the side. Nice and slow and controlled. Just gonna open up the chest a bit. That's it, good job, fantastic. Okay, we're gonna change the angles, we're gonna diagonal. Here we go. That's it, just like that, open up the chest. So everything's nice and controlled. Good, let's do two more, and we're gonna change to the other angle. Lovely, last one. Good, okay, let's change over. Fantastic. Nice and slow, just open up that chest. Get the blood flowing through it. Get it nice and loose. Good, let's do two more together. Last one. Excellent stuff. Okay, we're gonna finish off now with some arm circles. Take them backwards if we can. Good, if you struggle with the arms going over the head, hold them out to the side and just do some arm circles backwards. Just like that, well done, good. Keep that going, fantastic. Okay, let's change directions. Let's bring it out in front. Again, if you struggle to go up and over, arms out, and we're bringing them forwards this time. Good job, fantastic. Okay, back to middle in three, two, and one. Well done, that's the warm one completed. Grab yourselves a drink of water. I'm gonna demonstrate the first exercise. So those of you who are using weights, or water bottles, or any kind of resistance, I'm gonna demonstrate how to pick them up, okay? So, you're gonna have the weights either side of the feet, feet shoulder width apart, you're gonna squat down like we did in the warm up, take the weight and push up back through the legs. Now we also put them down the same way. I know may, some of you may struggle to get down that far, that's absolutely fine, put the weights on something a bit higher and take it off that. Okay, so the first exercise, the weights out in front of us, knuckles facing forward, feet together, you're gonna step across, lead up with the elbows, with an upright row. The dumbbells come underneath the chin, just like that, side to side, at your own pace. Now if you don't want to step side to side, you're more welcome to just do the upright rows on the spot, just like that. Excellent stuff. Okay, I'm going to start off the timer and we're going to get this workout underway. All right, so let's enjoy the workout. I'm going to get you guys for a and we're just going to work at our own pace and have some fun. Three, two, one, let's go. Step across, raise it up with those upright rows. Take your time, head up facing forwards. That's it, good stuff, well done. So the dumbbells come underneath the chin and we're working the biceps, the shoulders and also the upper back. Well done, good, keep that going. Fantastic job. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, perfect. Dumbbells come to the side here. You're gonna dip, rotate, and press. So I'll pivot on the foot, dip, rotate, and press. Let's get ready in four, three, two, one, let's go. So face towards where you rotate, take your time. That's it, good. Working on the obliques, working on the core as we do this as well. And a bit of balance. That's it, fantastic job, good job. Keep that going. Good stuff. Okay, we've got 10 seconds to go. Well done. Do a couple more repetitions, but take your time. Three, two, and one. Good, so the next one, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna squat down and add in a bicep curl, just like that. Weight on the heels, push up through the legs. Let's get ready to go in four, three, two, one. So the feet are shoulder width apart, toes facing forward. We're gonna keep a nice strong core. We're gonna take our time as we go down for a squat. Like we're sitting in the chair, stick the back side out. Hips go back, weight on the heels. Fantastic job, well done, keep that going. You're doing awesome. Lovely, well done. Couple more repetitions. Good, let's do one more together. Three, two, one, awesome stuff. The next one we've got is bringing the knee up to the elbow and squeezing those core muscles. Don't worry if you can't get the knee all the way up, try the best you can. Main focus is on the core. Three, two, one, here we go. 
and squeeze that core. Squeeze that core. Now this exercise, if you want to, you can do it around the room or you can do it on the spot. That's it, there we go. Keep the shoulders back, chest out. That's it, good job guys, well done. Keep a nice strong core. Visualize those core muscles working. Good, okay, five seconds left, well done. Three, two, one, excellent stuff. Okay, the next one is gonna be step back lunge and raise, changing over. If you wanna make it a bit easier, just use the one dumbbell. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, step back lunge and raise it up just like that. Good stuff. Now it doesn't matter if you go halfway or a quarter of the way, just try the best. I'm gonna demonstrate the easier option, grab the weight like that, step back, and, and raise it up in front. There we go, good. Well done. 10 seconds to go. Come on guys, keep this going. Five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Perfect stuff. Next one. Knee slightly bent, chest nice and out. We're gonna take the dumbbells out to the side, palms facing in. Like that, nice and slowly. Here we go, three, two, one. Here we go. Perfect stuff, that's it, good. Keep a nice strong core, make sure the knees are bent but not going over the toes. That's a good, stick the bum out. That's perfect stuff, well done guys. Keep that going. Lovely job, just nice and easy. Slowly up, slowly down. Couple more reps together. Three, two, one. Awesome stuff. Okay, the next one is going to be tricep extensions. Weights behind and extending up just like that. Let's get ready to go. And three, two, one. Here we go. Up and down. Just like that. Keep the head up facing forwards. What I'll do guys, so you can see, I'll go down on my knees, but please stay standing. I'm gonna extend up, squeeze the triceps, back down, up and squeeze the triceps, back down, just like that, well done. Make sure the elbows are pointing forwards. Woo, there we go. Okay, three, two, one, perfect round to end number one. We're gonna head into round number two, going back to the side step, upright rows, so let's get ready to go. In five, four, three, two, one. Step across. Lead up with those elbows. Good start. Went to round number two. Keep it going, working at your own pace. Head up, facing forwards. That's it guys, well done. Excellent. If you're doing it on the spot, lead up the elbows, dumbbells underneath the chin. Slowly down, slowly up. Good stuff, well done guys. Keep that going. Three, two, one, perfect. Dumbbells here, next one, dip. And we're gonna twist. We're gonna dip it down, and we're gonna twist. So let's get ready to go. In five, four, three, two, one, dip. Turn and press, face towards where you're turning. Take your time turning. Pivot on that back foot, there we go, good stuff. Come on, keep that going. Get the breathing under control. So I'm gonna breathe out when we push it up. Breathe in as we go down, breathe out as we push it up. Good stuff, well done. Super work. Keep it up, three, two, one, awesome stuff. Feet shoulder width apart. Gonna go down for a squat to bicep curl. Make sure with the squat, you feel the weight on the backs of your feet. Let's get ready to go in three, two, one. Here we go. So feel the weight on your heels. So you're squatting down, but take your time. That's it, good stuff. Well done. And push up through the legs. Keep that nice, strong core. Head up, facing forwards. 10 seconds to go. Let's get a couple more repetitions. Five seconds left. Good, let's get one more. Three, two, one. 
perfect. So next one we've got is the knee to elbow. Squeeze those core muscles and don't worry if you can't get the knee all the way up. Focus on that nice strong core. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Bring it up, squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Good stuff. Also, you'll be working on, the slower you do it, the more balance you'll be working on as well. Because as soon as you take that foot off the ground, you have to balance on one foot. There we go. Super job, halfway through. 10 seconds to go. Well done, fantastic stuff. Five to go. Good, three, two, one. Awesome stuff. The next one, we've got the lunge raise. Stepping back, raising up. Coming up and changing over on each leg. Or you can just do it with the one dumbbell. Off in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's take your time, stepping back. Good stuff, head up facing forwards. Set yourself, focus on that balance. There we go. Super effort guys. Keeping that going. We're gonna breathe out as we go down. Just like that. Perfect stuff, come on. Five seconds to go. Let's do one more. Excellent stuff. Okay, palms facing in now. Feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. And then we just get to the dumbbells, out to the side, squeezing the back and slowly down. Three, two, one, let's go. Just like that, here we go. Now we're gonna squeeze that back, those back muscles. Keep a nice strong core. We keep that pressure off the lower back. Keep the head facing down. Good stuff, and just take your time through every repetition. That's it, good stuff guys, fantastic, well done. Keep that going. Let's do one more repetition. Excellent stuff, well done. Dumbbells behind the head now. We're gonna extend up, squeezing the triceps and slowly back down. So let's get ready to go. In five, four, three, two, one. Up it goes, slowly back down. Up it goes, and slowly back down. I'll do it out in front so you guys can see me head on. And just make sure that head is freely movable. Take your time going up, and definitely take your time coming down because you don't want to bump the weights on the head. I've done that many times. Good stuff, guys. Well done, come on. Keep it going, five seconds to go. Let's do one more rep. Three, two, one. We're halfway through this workout. Well done for making this far. Let's finish off these last two rounds. Gonna step across, upright row, back across and row. Let's get ready, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Lead up with those elbows. Dumbbells just come underneath the chin. Take your time stepping across. Keep that nice strong core. Good, well done, standing nice and tall. That's awesome stuff, well done. Halfway through this exercise, Good job, we're gonna keep this going. 10 seconds left, well done. Feeling the shoulders now. Five to go, four, three, two, and one. Good job. We're gonna hold the dumbbells here. We're gonna dip, pivot, and press. Dip, pivot, and press. Okay, and we're off in four, three, two, one, and off we go. Fantastic, take your time as you pivot across. Keep a nice strong core, set yourself. That's it, good, well done. Keep that going. You guys are doing awesome, keep it up. That's perfect, well done. 10 seconds to go. Good, five to go. Let's get one more repetition. Excellent stuff, well done. Okay, the next one, feet shoulder width apart, toes facing forward, sit back into the squat, bicep curl, and push up through the legs. Okay, four, three, two, one, let's go. Keep the head up facing forwards, take your time. Breathe it out as we push the stand tall. Breathe in as we go down. 
Good stuff, well done. Keeping that going, just work at your own pace. It doesn't matter if you get two reps or 10 reps, as long as they're good and the quality. That's what counts guys, three, two, one. Perfect stuff, next one we've got is the knee to elbow, activating those core muscles, keep them nice and strong, and shoulders back, off in five, four, three, two, and one, off we go. And we're breathing out as we bring that knee to the elbow. Here we go. I'm trying to make it sound so obvious so you guys can hear. I don't really breathe that loud. <laughs> Keep it going, just gone halfway. Fantastic. Lovely job. Five seconds left. Good, three, two, and one. The next one is the reverse lunge to the front raise. I'm gonna change over again. You can do it with the one dumbbell if you want the easier option, or you can do it with none. You don't have to do it with any weights whatsoever. Three, two, one, let's go. Just like that. Strong core, focus on balance. Head facing forwards, good stuff. Again, if you only go down halfway or a quarter of the way, that's absolutely fine. That's it, the key here is to get you guys moving. That's a good job. Take your time. <sighs> Nicely done. Okay, five seconds to go. Let's do one more rep. Three, two, one. Awesome stuff. Feet shoulder width apart, palms facing in. Taking the dumbbells out to the side and slowly back down. Make sure the knees don't go over the toes. Off in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Just like that, nice and slowly. Good, so nothing's rushed. Take it out to the side, so I'll show you head on, actually. So keep the head facing down. Take it out to the sides, arms come right parallel to the ground as you come to the top. 10 seconds to go. Well done. Good effort, guys. Couple more repetitions, there's five left. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Taking the weights above the head, we're gonna extend up and slowly back down. Squeezing those triceps as we go up. Okay, four, three, two, one, and off we go. Just like that, good. Do not tuck the chin in, keep that head up, nice and tall. Good stuff, well done. And keep that going, we're gonna squeeze those triceps. Elbows are pointing forwards and breathe out as we take the dumbbells up, breathe in as we take them down. Out and in. Two, one. Awesome stuff, guys. We've got one more round left. So we're going to go back to the side step up high rise. Let's finish nice and strong. Let's get ready to go. In five, four, three, two, one last round, that's it, super job. Well done for making it this far. We've got to finish it now. We're gonna take it all the way to the end. I'm gonna be here for you. That's it, well done. Good start to round four. 15 seconds gone, halfway through this exercise. Keep it going, but work at your own pace. Good job. Five seconds to go. Good, three, two, and one, perfect stuff. The next one's gonna be the dip, rotate, pivot on the foot, and press. Back over the other side, face towards where you're rotating. Off in four, three, two, one, let's go. Good stuff, dip, rotate, and press. Excellent work. Keep it going, take your time. That's it, there we go. Well done, fantastic job. You guys are doing awesome. We've got about 10 seconds left of this exercise. Good stuff. Okay, let's do one more each side. That's perfect. Three, two, and one. Lovely job. Feet shoulder width apart, going down squat to bicep curls, weight on the heels, sitting back into that squat. Okay, we'll offer in three, Two, one, and here we go. 
squeeze those biceps as we bring the dumbbells up. Breathe out as we stand up. Breathe in as we go down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just like that. Good stuff. Take your time. Good quality repetitions is what we're looking for. Nicely done. Keep that going. Five seconds left. Let's do one more. Three, two, and one. Perfect stuff. Next one we've got, bringing that knee to the elbow. All core focused. Bit of a tongue twister for me. Off in five, four, three, two, one. Knee to the elbow. Let's go. Squeeze those cores, feeling great, feeling fantastic. Perfect way to start off our day is with some exercises. It really does get us in a good mood now we've achieved it. Good, halfway, keep that going. Bring that knee to the elbow, 10 seconds to go. That's it guys, come on. Let's do this, five to go, couple more reps. Three, two, and one, good stuff. So the next one, it's the step back lunge, raising up in front, changing over. Again, using the one dumbbell, or you don't have to use any. Okay, four, three, two, one, let's go. So the dumbbells come up parallel to the ground. That's it, good, take your time. Just like that, focus on that balance. Do not rush it. Good job. Let's keep this going. Fantastic work. Okay, we've got about five seconds left. Let's get two more reps. There's one. Let's do one more. Excellent stuff. Well done. Feet shoulder width apart, palms facing in. Taking the dumbbells out to the side. Keep that strong core. Let's get ready. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Take it out. Slowly back down. Control the weight, don't let them control you. Keeping that muscle under tension to maximize the results. There we go. Keep that going. Fantastic job, guys. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Keep that nice, strong core. About five seconds left. Let's get two more. Three, two, one. Awesome stuff. Last exercise, tricep extension. Bring the down, elbows facing forward, extending up, squeezing those triceps. Four, three, two, and one. Last exercise. That's it. Keep the head up facing forwards. Make sure that your head is not trapped. Make sure you're careful taking the weights down below your head so you're not bumping your head with the weights. We don't want any injuries, not today. Good stuff, guys, well done, we're nearly there. Less than 10 seconds to go, let's finish nice and strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. I'm gonna pop the dumbbells down as we stood up, just like that. I'm gonna stop the timer. Excellent, there we go. And now, Get yourselves a drink of water or feel free to hit the pause button if you need a bit longer. Because now we're going to go through some stretches. Now the first stretch I do recommend if you struggle with a bit of balance that you hold on to something that's nice and firm. So for example, I'm going to hold on to the wall and I'll demonstrate side on. So I'm going to take the leg up just like this and keep the knees together, stretch on the quadriceps. Now if you can't reach down to the foot, if you're wearing socks or trainers, grab the heel just like that. You see that? I'm not reaching down as far. There we go, perfect. Keep the head up facing forwards, shoulders back. We're stretching out the quadriceps, which is in the front of the leg. Now doing these stretches, I know they can be quite boring, but they're very beneficial because you will um, help your mobility, your posture, and also your flexibility as well. So it's worth doing. Good, let's change that over. Now I'm gonna try and work on a bit of balance. I'm gonna do this one without holding on. Please forgive me if I hop around. <laughs> That's it, good. So now one foot's off the ground. So my core is activated. And now I'm balancing as well as stretching. So I'm doing a lot of things at once. Uh, so the tip is just to look forwards. Try not to look at the ground. 
There we go, we're just going to hold it there, trying to keep the knees together. That's it, fantastic stuff. Okay, we're going to release that now, just going to shake out the legs a little bit. Just going to move the weight out of the way. Okay, so the next one, um, stretches. Left foot is going to go out nice and straight, just like that. Okay, so your right leg should be now be, should be bent. And have hands on the, on the right, the floor, on the right thigh, sorry. Oh my God, I can't talk today. And then we're going to sit back. So I'm going to push our hips back, just like that. Hands on the bent leg. Okay, if you want to feel the stretch even more, take the toes off the ground. Now you should feel the stretch in the back of the straight leg. Okay, which is the hamstrings. Again, keep the head facing down. If you want a bit of a core workout, here's a little bit of a tip. Squeeze those core muscles. There you go. Now you should feel it in your abs as well as you're squeezing those core muscles. And you're just going to breathe and relax. There we go. Awesome job, guys. Well done. Come to the top, shake it out a little bit. There it goes now. Put my right foot forward, hands on the bent leg, which is going to be the left one. Okay, you're going to sit back. So make sure we're sitting back into it. So bum out, hips go back. And then we're going to take the toes off the ground if you want to. Feet in the back of the hamstring. Well done, guys. We're just going to hold it there. If you want a core cool workout, squeeze those core cool muscles, keep the head facing down, and just breathe. Fantastic job. Okay, let's release that. Just shake out the legs a bit. I'm going to do some upper body stretches now. Arm across the body just like this. Other arm up through, stretch out the deltoids. Now if you're struggling with that, other arm over, gently pull it across just like that. Well done, good. Now if you want to, I know standing on the spot doing stretches can be boring, so you can just take a walk. Just like that, just walk around your room. I tend to do it because I can't stand still, I'm too fidgety. That's it, perfect, good. Let's change it over to the other side. Arm up through or over for the easier option, gently pulling across, head up facing forwards. That's it, good job guys. Fantastic work. Excellent, okay, we're just gonna release that, just shake out the shoulders a little bit, and backwards, forwards, good job, okay. Arm up now, down between the blades. I'm gonna take it here for support. Stretch out the tricep, which is in the muscle in the back of your arm, but make sure we've got that head freely movable. If you're struggling to hold the elbow at the top here, you can hold it here. Push it back just like that. There we go, perfect, well done. Again, walk around the room if you want to. That's a good stuff. Awesome job. Let's change it over to the other side. Arm up, down between the blades. Other arm here for support. Or you can take it from the elbow, from the top. Make sure that head is freely movable and you're standing tall with that correct posture. Super job. Couple more seconds. Excellent, now we're gonna release that. Now what we're gonna do, form a circle in front of us with our hands, interlock the fingers just like this. Keep the hands at head height, elbows slightly bent like you're holding a beach ball. Drop the head down, stretching up the upper back, which is the trapezius, just like that. Good job guys, and we're just gonna hold it there. Lovely. Perfect stuff. Okay, we're gonna release that. We're gonna take the arms on the back now. We're gonna push out the chest and lift out the arms, stretching out the pectoral muscles, which is located in the chest. Standing nice and tall with that posture, looking forwards. Again, you can walk around the room if you want to. That's it, fantastic job, good job guys. Perfect, and we're going to release that. Now we'll do some neck stretches. We're gonna drop the head down to the side, two fingers, and we're just gonna hold it in place. We're not dragging it across, we're just simply holding it in place there. You should feel a nice little stretch down the side of that neck. That's it, good. Again, focus on that posture. Lovely job, and we're gonna switch that around to the other side. Two fingers, just holding it in place. Feel the stretch. Lovely job, perfect stuff. Okay, release that. Now we're just gonna do some nods controllably. Up and down, nice and slowly. Nice and controlled. Good stuff, well done guys. 
Perfect, now take it off to the sides. Just loosen off that neck a bit. Well done, great, fantastic stuff. Well done for completing that workout. Thank you so much for joining in. If next time you did wanna make it a little bit harder, one, you can increase the intensity by moving a bit faster, but long as you do it in a safe way. And also, you can increase the weight. So you can make the weights heavier, which make it a lot more difficult as also as well. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free of charge. You don't have to pay any money whatsoever. You get free workouts. Hit that bell notification. That says all, because every time I upload, you guys have been notified first. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up button, because it helps the video more than you expected. It absolutely helps a lot. Now, I will be uploading a workout now, guys, twice a week over 50s on Monday, over 60s on Wednesday. I've got a lot of motivation back, so why not take advantage of this? Thank you so much for joining in, guys. Have a fantastic day. Look after each other and be safe. Take care, bye now.